Hi everyone, I'm back with another story for you today. It is a spring story because it's spring outside and I'm seeing all kinds of signs of spring whenever we go on our walks. So this book is called And Then It's Spring by Julie Fagliano and the illustrator is Erin Steed. Um, she's one of my favorite illustrators. And then it's spring. First you have brown. All around you have brown. Then there are seeds. And a wish for rain. And then it rains. And it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. And is that a little green? No, it's just a brown, sort of brown. Then it is a wheat. You see I'm planting all the seeds. And you worry about those little seeds. And if maybe it was the birds. Do you think the birds took his seeds? Look at that one eat a lot. <laughs> Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping because bears can't read signs that say things like, please do not stomp here. They are seed, there are seeds and they are trying. And then it is one more week. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. Do you see what's happening to the little seeds? They're starting to sprout below the dirt. That means good things are happening. And then it is one more week. It takes time for seeds to grow. And a sunny day, that sunny day that happens right after that rainy day. And you walk outside to check on all that brown. But the brown isn't around, and now you have green. All around, you have green. The seeds grew. The end. So we planted a garden. We planted some seeds and I feel like the little boy in the picture waiting and waiting and hoping that the seeds are doing okay. And I've had this happen to our garden in the past. The little birdies have come down and stolen our seeds. They really like when we plant sunflower seeds. So I have a surprise for you today. Um, we have another story, but it's not going to be read by me. I have a guest reader today and she's excited to see all of you. She's been missing you. Um, some of you know her and some of you who aren't in my preschool don't know her, but Miss Teresa is here to read a story. So I'm going to play her story now. 
Hi Nature Together friends, it's me Miss Teresa. I haven't seen you in so long. The last time we saw each other, it was winter and now it is spring. And there are signs of spring coming up all around outside if you look closely. So I wanted to read you guys a story. This one is a small story about spring from Frog and Toad All Year by Arnold Lobel. The title of the story is called The Corner. Frog and Toad were caught in the rain. They ran to Frog's house. I'm all wet, said Toad. The day is spoiled. Have some tea and cake, said Frog. The rain will stop. If you stand near the stove, your clothes will soon be dry. And I will tell you a story while we are waiting, said Frog. Oh, good, said Toad. When I was small, not much bigger than a pollywog, said Frog, my father said to me, son, this is a cold gray day, but spring is just around the corner. I wanted spring to come. I went out to find that corner. I walked down a path in the woods until I came to a corner and I went around the corner to see if spring was on the other side. And was it? asked Toad. No, said Frog. There was only a pine tree, three pebbles, and some dry grass. I walked in the meadow and soon I came to another corner. I went around the corner to see if spring was there. Did you find it? asked Toad. No, said Frog. There was only an old worm asleep on a tree stump. I walked along the river until I came to another corner. I went around the corner to look for spring. Was it there? asked Toad. No, said Frog. There was only some wet mud and a lizard who was chasing his tail. You must have been tired, said Toad. I was tired, said Frog, and it had started to rain. I went back home. When I got there, said Frog, I found another corner. It was the corner of my house. Did you go around it, asked Toad. I went around that corner too, said Frog. What did you see, asked Toad. I saw the sun coming out, said Frog. I saw birds sitting and singing in a tree. I saw my mother and father working in their garden, and I saw flowers in the garden. You found it, cried Toad. Yes, said Frog. I was very happy. I had found the corner that spring was just around. Look, Frog, said Toad. You were right. The rain has stopped. Frog and Toad hurried outside. They ran around the corner of Frog's house to make sure that spring had come again. So I would like for you guys to see if you can find some signs of spring. Maybe a green shoot, maybe a blossom on a tree maybe a flower growing in your garden. I'd love to hear from you. Let Miss Chris or I know that you've enjoyed our stories and hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, Miss Teresa. So um, she invited all of you to go outside and find signs of spring. And with that, I thought I'd help you. I made a spring scavenger hunt that you guys can print off and take outside and look for these things. I have some things that you'll look for and some things that you'll listen for. Uh, these are things that I've been noticing a lot lately. I've seen lots of robins and singing their pretty happy song. They say cheerily, cheery up, cheerio. Um, worms, a flowering tree, busy squirrels, this is the most exciting thing. Little um, shoots coming out of the ground, dandelions, clouds. We have nice white fluffy clouds today, new buds on trees. And then these are things you can listen for. The wind in the trees, the sound of a lawnmower cutting spring grass, or the birds singing. So when you find these things, check them off your list. And that is on um, my Dropbox link, which is listed below. Um, I think that's it. Have fun on your spring scavenger hunt and we will be back soon. Bye friends.